In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to union or solid model in Roblox Studio and give you some tips and tricks for newbies. Enjoy. Hey everybody, it's your boy Robot back again for another building tutorial. It has been a long time since I've done this. This might be our fourth or fifth tutorial, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to mess around with Roblox Union, CSG, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna teach you about that, and I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks on how I use it. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but how I do it's probably how other people do it as well. I think I do a pretty common thing with it. So if you wanna learn about it, go ahead and keep watching. So to get started, make sure you have the plugins that I have. If you want to know the plugins, there's gonna be a little eye at the top right corner. Just click that and you'll see all the different videos of the tutorials that I'll be talking about in this video for reference. Now, the tutorial that I'm referencing is the very first one, which is the plugin that I recommend you download. But the first thing you'll mainly need, in my opinion at least, is the Building Tools by F3X. Now, I'm going to assume you already know how to use the Building Tools because I did make a video showing you all of the tools and how to use them. So let's just go ahead and continue. Now to get started, what I'm gonna do is show you quickly some very, very basic tutorial stuff for CSG. Now, if you don't know what CSG is, I'll leave a link to this wiki right here. This tells you exactly what it is. It's unions, negations, and separating. Now, unions is when you combine two or more things to become one solid part or one solid model. And then negating is when you take that model and you make it a negative space. And if you union it to a part that is not negated, you can turn it into like a hole inside of the part and then separating is undoing what you just did basically and taking apart things. Now you can only union, I believe blocks, spheres, wedges, and cylinders. I don't think corners can be unioned or anything else, but we're going to be doing that in this tutorial. Remember the link to this will be down below in the description if you do want to learn about it, but let's go ahead and get started with the solid modeling or CSG. So the first step, have a part that you want to union, go ahead and resize it to whatever you want. Now what I recommend doing is for a basic one, just go ahead and copy the part and do this, put it exactly on the corner. Now what you're gonna do next is lower it by one, move it over by one on every single axis. Make sure it's only covering a small portion of the corner. Now what you wanna do also, if you go over to the model part, you'll see these different options, union, negate, and separate. Notice how separate isn't really like colored or anything like that, it's actually dimmed because you can't use it. You can't use separation if nothing is unioned or nothing is negated really, you know? So what I recommend doing is taking this part, negating it, and notice how it turns red. This means it is a negative space or negative part. So if I were to take this part and then hold shift and click on this part because of my building tools, if you're gonna use studio tools, you can click on this and hold control and press click on this and you get the both of them selected. Then you click on union. When you click on union, it basically carves out the negation that you made. So control Z to undo. Notice how everything here happened as it should have because I put it right in the corner and I negated that part out of it by unioning it. So unioning these two things is like a negation. So I take out negative space and then if I want to separate them, you can press control shift G or you can just union it with the button or you can right mouse click and go right here and click all the options. But I really just do the right mouse click because my Giazzo is linked to my control shift G I believe. So if I wanted to do a Giazzo, I have to use control shift G. So I just do this, it's really easy. Now notice how when I click on separate, it basically separates it. Now the next thing you wanna know, I'm gonna teach you about how to union things normally. Not basically unioning things like the what I just did with negation. I'm gonna be teaching you about unions. Now what I recommend doing is taking two parts of different colors. Notice how they are different colors. They're not the same, it's tan and purple. Now what I recommend doing is taking these two parts together and unioning them. Notice how if I were to go inside of the part, there's absolutely nothing inside of it. But if I were to undo the union, I can see the purple part on the other side of the tan part and the tan part on the other side of the purple part. And that's because they're not one part anymore. If I were to union them, they become one part together, meaning it's one solid model. So I can see through it and that basically tells you if something's solid modeled together because you see different surfaces and different faces on the parts. Now, what I want you to do next is after learning how to union, I'm gonna teach you some basic things for me that may not be basic for you about unions and negations that could be used for tips and tricks on how to build things. Now, if I were to want to build a house, I'm gonna speed run this part. If I were to build a house and wanted to make windows, of course I could place blocks on the windows, but I could also do this. Now notice how I have built this basic shape for a house and I wanna add a door right here and two windows right here. What do I do? 
I could easily just copy this right here and just resize it to fit the door, right? I could just do this right here and boom, I have a door right on the outside. And that's really easy. It's not hard to put a door right there and just resize it to make it look like a door sticking on the outside. Now notice how there is a portion of it sticking out. It's not inside of the house. What you could do is this right here. Now this might seem complex to some of you, so I recommend re-watching this multiple times if it's complex. Notice how if it's touching like that, it's having a Z offset clashing because this is the Z axes clashing with each other. This means if you want to, you could go ahead and resize it outwards, have a portion of the part inside of the building, right? Once it's inside, you go ahead and you negate the object right here. Notice how it's now clear. It's like a negative version of it. And then you can copy it and then select it and select this and union them together. Notice how I just took out that portion of the house, but I still have this right here. Now, if you have the resize align plugin, like I told you to download in the first one, I should have told you this in the first one, the first tutorial, you can go ahead and do this and resize align it to fit the house. Notice how nothing is sticking out and it perfectly form factors onto the house and it looks like a door. This is a tutorial thing that many people don't teach you. You kind of learn this as you're building. So if you want to learn how to do that, it's right there. Now I'm going to show you again how to do it on Windows. If you were to take this over here and resize it right there, you just go ahead and move it up. Here are your windows. Let's go ahead and make them a little bit smaller. That way they don't look too weird and do this. And then we're going to move it slightly towards the other side. So that way they don't stick onto the door too much. There we go. Move it over by 0.5. There we go. Now that we have our windows, we're going to go ahead and resize them like this. Copy both of them, then go over to model and negate. Then we're going to select the two parts that are negative and the house itself and union them together. And now notice how we got rid of that and made negative space for the windows. We can go ahead and resize this over here and boom. Now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and make the window frame and just keep doing this. It's really easy. This is honestly something that not many people teach. I don't think many people teach people how to union. It's something you really learn on your own. So if you're going to learn how to CSG or union, I highly recommend link, like watching this video or linking it to your friends because it's simple. It's fast. It doesn't take much time to learn how to do unions, but it does take time to do unions correctly or do it fast. And it really depends on what you're thinking, like how do you want to do unions? And that's how you do it. It depends on who teaches you as well, if you do learn from somebody as well. Now notice how I made the window frames and everything. And I can go ahead and resize this inwards as well to make it look smaller. Now notice how there's nothing clashing, there's no Z clashing because I resized everything to match perfectly. Now with that, we have created our house and I think it looks pretty good. We're going to leave the house at this. Now another thing that's really complex is it mentioned in the whole, you know, the blog that I showed or the wiki that I showed that you can union these balls right here. You can also union cylinders. You can also union wedges and normal parts. Nothing else can be union from my knowledge. I'm going to try to union a corner real quick and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. Corners are able to be union from what I learned. So only corners, wedges, normal parts, cylinders and circles or spheres from what I could tell are able to be unioned. I believe trusses are not able to be union, able to be unioned and everything else really doesn't matter. It's just a seat, a vehicle seat and a spawn. So nothing else can really be unioned but corners, normal parts, wedges, also the cylinders and the balls. Now, if you were to take a ball, this is something that you can learn how to do with cylinders as well. So I'm going to show you on both objects right here. If you want to make windows for this, like if you're trying to make a Dragon Ball Z type building, I highly recommend watching this part. Now you can go ahead and take a part right here and do this. This is really complex negating if you're new to unions. So what I recommend doing is taking your time to learn this part as well. It's similar to that right there, but it's more complex. I only took out a small sliver of it. I could have taken out a whole portion of the house if I wanted to, like I did in the beginning of the video. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure the position of this part is nice and even and nice and fit. That way I don't have to do a lot of math when I'm moving my objects. And notice how these objects are different sizes and everything. We're going to make this 10 by 10 by 10. Then we're going to make this 9 by 7 by 7. There we go. Now that we have this, we're going to go and copy the position of this and paste that position into this part right here. Now notice how it's inside. Now what you want to do, let's say we're trying to make a window on top of this, right? These are the window sizes that we want right there. And then we just control R to rotate it. And we take this and rotate it right here. And boom, these are the windows we want. How are we going to make this window? What I recommend doing is doing this. Resize them outwards right on both sides. Now notice how they're sticking out like this. They look like kind of like a weird shape or like a star or like a snowflake, right? What you want to do is take the part 
that has a 90 degree rotation, either one of these two, you take it, then you resize it a little bit smaller and you do this. Now notice how it fits onto every single part. It doesn't overlap any of them too much. Then you make it go taller than the cylinder. This part right here is important. It has to be bigger than the cylinder, but it has to have these sticking out of it. Now what I'm gonna do next is negate it to show you exactly what I mean. If I were to negate it, you can see everything in here, right? What you want to do is select this, every single window part, Control D to duplicate, Control Shift N to negate, then you're gonna move it over here. We're gonna make our increment to five and move them over here. Then we're also gonna duplicate our cylinder and move it over here. Now if I were to take this cylinder and negate this out of it, these are the window holes that we have. These are where we want our windows to be. And if you do that, you can simply undo the negation here by doing the gate again Control shift n then you take these parts notice how if you take these parts you can actually negate them into this and look at this we just carved holes into this part then we Control shift n this and we put it onto the cylinder and we union the two together and we get our window shape that perfectly fits into here now if i were to take a color and make it a color, look at that. We made a perfect window inside of our cylinder and it works as well for the spheres. Just duplicate the same method and I'll do it right now for you. Just take the same thing we negated right here. We just take this right here, pretty easy. Then we take the sphere, duplicate it over here, duplicate this over here. Then we do control shift U to undo everything. We can delete this right here and we can union all of these parts together. Notice how when they're together, it forms a little hole in it. Then we can take these two, union them together, and we have our windows for our sphere. It's very easy, it's very fast. You just gotta know how to do it. It doesn't take much effort once you know how to do it as well. This is how people usually make like weapons in games as well if they wanna carve out like a sword or something like that. Maybe in the future I'll make a tutorial for that. But if you wanna learn more, make sure you leave a like on the video, comment your ideas, and also make sure you go to my Twitter and just respond to me. DM me there the things you've learned how to build because of my tutorials. If you DM me the stuff that you've built because of my tutorials, it makes me a lot happier to see that I've been like teaching people like a lesson, like teaching them how to do things and that it actually assists them. So if you wanna show me what you've done through my tutorials, go ahead and you know comment down below what you want to learn or tweet at me or DM me the things that you've learned how to do through my building tutorials. If you wanna learn anything else, comment it down below, leave a like on the video. Till then, it's been your man Robal. Hope you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace everybody.